My name is Hajime Makaida. I'm 29. I'm a tailor working at Haruno Tailor Shop. Hajime, how have you been? Mr. Hirata, long time no see. You always look so nice. I get this tailored in Italy, but I feel like it's a bit too flashy for me to wear in Japan. Italian suits are made with soft fabric, and they tend to emphasize in the chest area. I need you to set me up with a darker business suit. One that I can use for work and formal events. I'm glad you visited us. Can I ask you a few more questions before we continue? Oh, welcome. How many years has it been since Mr. Haruno passed away? About five years. Time flies. I still wear the suit Mr. Haruno made for me at important events. Nobody can beat him. I'll do my best not to disappoint you, Mr. Hirata. Hajime. Why did you decide to become a tailor in the first place? Well, my father loved movies. And there was this one movie about Mafia that <laughs> inspired me. Ha! Mafia movies always had characters wearing suits. I don't remember the story at all, but I remember how amazing they all looked. That was the start of my dream. Mr. Machida, you take too long on one customer. You need to cut it short and tend to the other customers, too. I apologize. It's just, Mr. Harada is a VIP longtime customer. We've been making suits and coats for him for over 20 years. He was asking for a new suit, and we need to check up on his other suits. I couldn't push him away. Ahem. Don't talk back to me. You're taking too long, and it's wasting time. We can't spend so much time just because he used to be my father's customer. We need to increase the number of suits we make. The tailor shop I work at is an established store, popular among various generations. We have many celebrities on our customer list. Our customers are well satisfied, and they bring in new customers. That's why we need to uphold our reputation. When the owner passed away, his daughter took over. She was different from her father. She picked customers depending on how they looked. She would also press the customers to buy expensive products. I do not agree with her business methods. Excuse me. Yes? This is my first time here. I would like to order a new suit. My friend told me this is the place to come. Is it possible to put in my order right now? It looks like it's his first time making a custom-made suit. I gotta make sure I get all the information I need to make the best suit for him. My job is to create a suit that is perfect for every customer. You came at the perfect time. I'll do my best. Please, come in. Thank you. Well, Mr. Hinoki, what kind of suit do you think you'd like to wear? Um, if you take a look at me, I'm probably about 190 centimeters. I've gained a lot of weight. I'm probably near 100 kilograms. I can't find clothes that complement my physique. And I've always ended up wearing rather shabby clothes like these. I need a proper business suit to wear for an upcoming event. But I can't fit into any of the old ones that I have. Thank you for telling me. It's an important part of the process. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Machida. Can I borrow you for a second? Uh-huh. Don't worry about me. I'll be right back, sir. Please, take a look through these catalogs to see if there's anything you'd like. Seriously? Why are you wasting time on that freak? What? Can't you see he has no money? He can't afford a suit here. I can't believe you let him in. Get him out of here before the other customers see him. With all due respect, he's here specifically to ask us to make a suit for him. How are you so stupid? We are a top-level tailor shop. We don't just let anybody in here. Celebrities, politicians, and company executives. We have plenty of rich customers. You are ruining the store's reputation by inviting an ogre in here. I've wanted to say this to you for a while, but can we please stop judging the customers just by how they look? How dare you! 
I consider every person who takes the time to step into this store a valuable customer. Okay, this is not some kind of volunteer work. We're running a business. Store profits are the priority. Yes, I admit that the profits are crucial. However, I consider the customer's satisfaction with our products the priority. By making the perfect soup for them, we boost their confidence, which helps them overcome whatever challenges they face. The customer's success is all up to them. It's not our responsibility to look after them, you idiot! The customers we need are already successful. We don't need to raise them. Your father happily accepted anybody who stepped foot into the store. They are the customers who are supporting us right now. I prefer to follow your father's beliefs. You're free to leave the store if you don't agree with how things are done here. I can get another tailor. There are tons of guys like you out there. I won't allow poor people to touch a hem of any of our products. They don't deserve it. Okay. I understand. I learned a lot from your father when I worked for him. But there is nothing I can learn from you. I'm quitting as of this moment. Mr. Hinoki, please, let me apologize. I'm sure you heard our conversation. I'm so sorry for everything. It's okay. Are you getting fired because you defended me? It's not your fault. I've been considering it for months. I don't think this store is the place for me. Do you have some time after this? I would love if you would join me for some coffee. I feel awful about what happened back there. There's nothing you need to apologize for. I understand what I look like, and I see where your boss is coming from. Um, if it's okay with you, I would like to make a soup for you. I've been doing what I do for ten years. I promise I won't disappoint you. Are you sure you'll be okay? I needed a suit for the upcoming event, but I just saw you lose your job. Shouldn't you be focused on yourself right now? I would be honored. You don't need to pay me. Please, consider an apology for the former incident. I can't let you do that! Please, let me do this for myself. I strongly believe that making suits are not just about patching together pieces of cloth. You took your time to consider us, and we won't disappoint you. It was inappropriate and unacceptable. I don't have any other way of making it up to you. Do you have time to come over to my place? I have the equipment, so it won't take too long. Mr. Makeda, you are a wonderful person. I have a feeling you would look better in a double-breasted suit, Mr. Hinoki. Isn't that too old-fashioned? Everybody wears single-breasted suits now. You have broad shoulders that will go well with double-breasted suits. Japanese people tend to wear single-breasted suits because they can't pull off the double-breasted designs. You're right. I don't think I'd look good when I tried a single-breasted suit. I'll need you to come in for a fitting two weeks later. After that, it'll take about a month to finalize your suit. Will that be okay? I'm already looking forward to it. I finally finished Mr. Hinoki's suit. I was sure it would make him look classy and dignified. This is where Mr. Hinoki's address leads me to, I think. Wait, this is a house? It looks like a castle. Hey, you're finally here. Uh, please, come in. This is my wife. Meet Mr. Makaida. He's the one I was telling you about. I heard all about you from my husband. Thank you for being so kind to him. Oh, it's nothing. I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. Will it be okay for me to try it on? It's perfect. You look just like a movie star. Oh my! You look like you did back when we first met. You know, Mr. Machida, my husband used to be a model back in his young days. <laughs> You look so handsome, Mr. Minoki. Mr. Makeda, you are amazing at what you do. This is the best suit I've worn in my entire life. It fits me so well. I appreciate your kind words. To tell you the truth, this isn't the first time I ordered a suit. 
is that so? I'm a bit surprised. It looked like your first time walking into a tailor shop. I own a company to import luxury brand furniture to Japan. It's a big company, so I get invited to important parties all over the world. I've had suits made in every country I've visited. The US, Italy, England, France, and don't let me forget Japan. However, I got sick four years ago. It was a rough time for my wife and me. I had to fly to the States to get surgery. I returned to Japan about a month ago after getting cured. I had no idea. You look so well that I would have never imagined that you had gone through all that. I'm better now, so it's okay. But after four years of fighting a sickness, it became difficult for me to keep a healthy figure. I stopped shaving my beard and I kept gaining weight. I don't fit into any of the suits I used to wear. I desperately needed a suit for my reinstatement party. That's why I went to the tailor shop to start with. I'm sure the suit will go great with the party atmosphere. I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Mikaida. Oh, payment is unnecessary. It's my way of apologizing. You're apologizing for the tailor shop that fired you a month ago? The former owner taught me many things. I had issues with the present owner, but I don't want to do anything to ruin the shop's reputation. Hmm, I understand. I want to continue asking you to make my suits. But would it be a hassle for both of us to do it at your home? Don't you want a shop of your own? A shop? Mr. Hinoki helped me make a shop of my own. I named it Taylor Makaida. Mr. Hinoki is well connected with many people. He introduced his friends to my shop. Thanks to his support, my shop is kicked off well. Why are you across the street? This is my daughter. I would be grateful if you could make some time to make a suit for her. She's gorgeous. I think she inherited every attractive quality Mr. Hinoki and his wife have. I am so happy we finally met. My father won't stop talking about you at home. Help, Help us! us! I used to get my custom-made suits at Harano's tailor shop. I used to get my custom-made suits at Harano's tailor shop. But I think it's lost its touch. The suits are no good. I see. The people keep pushing me to spend more money. I am so sick of it. All they care about is how much money we spend. I won't be going back there again. Oh no. She's ruining everything her father built. I started hearing horrible stories about Harano's tailor shop. A year and a half later, I opened a second store. While Harano's tailor shop had to close down. This is all your fault! You took all of our customers! I haven't done anything wrong. We don't pick the customers. The customers pick us. I won't let you get away with this! Um, excuse me. This is my first time ordering a suit. Oh, hi there. Welcome to Taylor Makaida. I'm glad Mr. Machida prioritized the former owner's beliefs. Although the name of the shop is different, the former owner's beliefs will continue to live on. Did you like today's story? Please let me know in the comment section below. See you tomorrow. Bye! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.